everyone, Luke here. And if you've been following me for the past year, you know I've been working on one major aspect of my paintings, and that's bold, confident brushwork. Now there's a number of reasons why I spent a whole year focusing on that one thing, but the main reason is exactly what this title is about, and it's the illusion of detail. So join me as I do this custom path portrait, and I go a little bit more in depth of the illusion of detail. So what is the illusion of detail? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the idea that the viewer perceives there is more detail there than what's actually there. And in some cases, it's very much intentionally done by the artist. So why is this important? A main reason is simply efficiency. You see, in my early years, I would spend countless hours painting what seemed like every single hair follicle on a pet. And while the end result looked great, this took a ton of time. And the end result was stiff and cluttered, so I needed a change. Another reason is how our eyes work. You see, us as humans are fantastic problem solvers. And sometimes I know this may be hard to believe, but there's a reason why we've been alive on this earth for so long. And it's because we can solve complex problems, remember them, and apply them when needed. So you may be thinking, what does this have to do with painting, nonetheless, the illusion of detail? Well, you see, we solve problems so well, we naturally complete images with little to no effort. We go back into our memory bank of a similar dog, person, I, you name it, and we fill in the blanks using details from our past. This exact reason is why when a portrait is done incorrectly, we can notice it instantly. If the eyes are wrong, the proportions are wrong. We know this because we've seen so many faces before. A more extreme example of this would be a silhouette of a person. You have no landmarks, no tones, just a solid shape resembling a figure. And we can almost instantly place where the eyes, the nose, and the mouth would be. It's as though we subconsciously complete images just from our past experiences. So this is all cool and all, but why is this important with painting? Well, personally, I like the idea of not losing my sanity painting every single hair follicle. And while that may be important for somebody who does super high detail paintings, for the type of paintings I do, that just doesn't work for me. But more importantly, I want the viewer to be engaged with the piece. I want them to allow a personal interpretation, a personal experience with the piece. And to me, this is even more important with a commission. You see, this is someone's companion. And they know their personality, quirks, and behaviors better than I ever would. And allowing that viewer to, quote, fill in the blanks, creates a more intimate experience with the painting. And lastly, I simply like the aesthetic. There's just nothing better than a well-placed brush stroke that not only gives information to the viewer of where the light source is or the shadow, but adds shape, form, and volume to that area. So how is this done? How do you achieve this illusion of detail? Well, there are many, many ways. I mean, there is literally careers built on deconstructing old masters' work just to figure out how they achieved a certain look or style. But a very easy method is to try and simplify our painting, just like I'll do with these whiskers here. You see, the human is very good at naturally filling in the blanks, so you can use that to your benefit. And you do this by simplifying. Focus more on the shapes than what things are. So for an example, instead of me thinking and knowing that this is a crown, think of it more as shapes and of values as opposed to what the thing actually is. You can do this by generalizing areas and instead of painting every single little bead in this area, maybe just do a broad light value brush stroke to sort of blanket that area with light. So put simply, oversimplify because you can always come back and put more detail in. It's much more difficult to try and simplify from a high detail area than it is to 
add more detail to a simplified area. So always simplify it out. And that's exactly what I did for this crown, is block it in with some general simplified shapes and now coming in with a smaller brush to add just enough detail to read that there's a ton of craftsmanship gone into this crown, but not so much that it dominates the image. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification to get notified as soon as I drop a new video. Let me know down in the comments if you're like me and you get caught up way too much in the details. Thanks again for watching. Take care.